Hey people, if this is your first time watching me, I'm Adam, and I make videos discussing the paranormal, unexplained and mysterious side of Australia. I guess that's my intro now. Um, I'll link below my previous two videos, if you haven't seen them, in which I delve into some of the most haunted places in Victoria and the mystery of the thylacine as a cryptid. So this time, I'm once again going to be talking about something new, like a different to my previous video, and that is the Westall UFO incident. I always kind of imagined uh, there being three main areas of unexplained entities in my mind. One being the paranormal slash ghosts, two being cryptids, and three being aliens. So yeah, let's just get straight into it. Disclaimer, I was not there obviously, and I'm only going off my research, different accounts, exist depending on the different witnesses. On the 6th of April, 1966, approximately 300 witnesses all reported the same flying saucers over Westall High School, now Westall Secondary College, in the suburb of Clayton South in Melbourne. Allegedly, this unidentified flying object disappeared for about 20 minutes before showing itself once again and flying off into the Northwest. If that already sounds crazy, there are also reports that the UFO was being followed by five other mysterious aircraft. Witnesses were warned by military officials and men in black type people never to speak about what they had seen. There seem to be conflicting reports as to whether or not these men were actually uniformed in military attire. So I don't know, who knows? Of course, in the decades that have followed, people have felt more comfortable speaking out about this day and what they saw. Upon researching, one popular possible explanation for the mystery is that this supposed UFO was simply a weather balloon. The Weather Bureau did release a balloon from the western suburb of Laverton at 8.30am, two and a half hours before the sighting. Alternatively, a high altitude test balloon from Mildura, used to monitor radiation levels, has been offered as another explanation. But let's actually delve deeper into the incident and see what the actual witnesses have had to say. Some months ago, I actually joined a Facebook group dedicated to the Westall UFO. As it is a public group, you can go on and visit if you have any interest in the whole event. And that is where I got some information for this video from. One of the um, witness reports that I noticed was that of then 15 year old student Phyllis Tierney who described the event in detail. She recounted three completely silent silver disc-shaped objects spinning in the air above the school grounds for about five to 10 minutes before, without warning, flying towards a nearby area and seemingly landing there. Today, this area, the Grange, is home to a playground dedicated to the UFO and I have to go one day. I haven't been yet, but my bucket list, a playground in Clayton South. The students were told that they had not seen anything and were not to recount anything about it to anyone else. When Phyllis and her friends investigated the Grange after school, they found three round, flattened areas of grass. According to Phyllis, a teacher, Mrs. Robbins, actually took photographs of the UFO slash UFOs, but as you can expect, these were confiscated and never made public. After reading Phyllis's story, I came across another recount from a different witness, Tanya. She described similar details, such as the UFO emitting no sound and seeing an unnamed female teacher taking photos, presumably Mrs. Robbins. Tanya only recalls seeing one UFO, but acknowledges many of her peers had seen three. According to the Facebook post detailing her story, Tanya is extremely opposed to any weather balloon and secret government project theories. So while that may make more sense scientifically, first-hand witnesses are convinced to this day, nearly 60 years later, that they saw a flying saucer not of this world. Judging from the comment section, Phyllis and Tanya did not know each other, but Phyllis said that Tanya's details matched up with hers almost perfectly. Year 9 science teacher Andrew Greenwood has also opened up recently about his experience relating to the UFO. Two weeks after the incident, Andrew said he was visited at his home by two government officials and was threatened to keep silent. Much like the students, Andrew believes to this day that the incident was covered up by the Australian government. Some of the witnesses can recall in detail exactly what the UFO looked like. So I'll insert some sketches from the witnesses themselves that I found on the Facebook group. 
It has often been described as being metallic, 8 meters in diameter, round on the top and bottom, but separated as if appearing to be two-storied. Although mostly silver, there may have even been a silvery green or purple hue as well. I feel like I started filming literally like 5 minutes ago, it was 10. But I am already at the end of that video. That was quick. I mean, really delving into it, like there's there's more, you know, I don't know. This Facebook group has been around a long time, you know, but this video had to end somewhere. So if you're interested in this and going further into it, then of course Google and Facebook groups are a real good place to start. But that's all I'm going to be talking about today. I don't know how, how short or long this video is going to be. It feels like shorter than the other two, but we'll see. Thank you for watching my video. Hopefully you learned something from it. Uh, feel free to comment any uh, future video ideas for me and the prerequisites for that are pretty much sticking to Australia and, you know, one of those three topics that I mentioned at the start, either paranormal, cryptozoology related, or even UFO related. I have one lined up and a few other ideas that that I could research more into. Sorry this took so long to upload if anyone is an avid fan already. Um, it's been like over a month since my thylacine video. Thanks for all the um, 600 views and that as well. I'm famous. Speaking of that, please like this and comment on this and subscribe to this. Um, it's so weird saying that out loud still. And yeah, see you next time.